input transducers. In an electronic system, input transducers convert other forms of energy into electrical energy in order to produce an electrical signal which can be processed. First of all, we have a microphone. So with a microphone here, we're going to connect it to an oscilloscope. Now we're going to whistle the tune and see what happens on the oscilloscope. The next input transducer is the thermocouple. We're going to connect the thermocouple to the voltmeter and heat it in a yellow Bunsen flame and see what happens. Seeing that the voltmeter is zero, I'm going to put the tip of the thermocouple into the Bunsen flame. The next input transducer is the solar cell. It's going to connect the solar cell to the voltmeter and then shine the lamp onto the solar cell to see what happens. Moving on to output transducers. In an electronic system, output transducers convert electrical energy into other forms of energy that humans can detect or use. First of all, we have a loudspeaker. We're going to connect it to a battery board. First at 1.5 volts. Then at three volts, four point five, and then finally six volts. Our next output transducer is the oscilloscope. I'm going to connect the battery pack to the oscilloscope and see what happens. Is it six volts? And if we switch about the terminals. So red going to black, and black going to red. And now attaching an AC supply to the oscilloscope. Our next output transducer is the electric motor and just so it's clear on camera what's happening I'm going to blue tack a little bit of paper onto the motor and hopefully you should be able to see it spin. So attaching the motor to the battery board. The next output transducer is a relay. 
which acts as an electrically operated switch. So here we go. So just connecting the relay to its own power supply should be able to hear a click and that is the switch uh, operating. Now we're going to connect a separate circuit containing its own battery board and a lamp into the relay switch. And hopefully turning on the relay will light this bulb. So here we go. The next output transducer is the solenoid unit. So before we connect it to the battery board, I'm just going to check it's not magnetic. And then connecting, you can see Next up, we've got a bulb. And finally, a light emitting diode or LED. Note that if I change the polarity here so the electricity runs the other way, the light does not light up. 